Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Now in today's episode, continuing with the theme of doing things on the Nintendo Wii, we're going to be taking a look at WiiNet, which is a project that essentially tries to revive the Wii's internet channel and give it some more functionality in the modern day. If you've ever used the Wii's internet channel nowadays, you probably know that you can't really do much with it. In fact, I did a video back a couple years ago trying to browse the modern web on the Wii using a few different methods, and one of them was the internet channel which I knew was going to be pretty much a disaster and it pretty much was we were able to load really basic websites like you know mobile Google search results pages and things like that but if you wanted to do anything more than that you weren't gonna have the most pleasant time and that's to be expected because this browser is really really old and it hasn't been updated in years so why would you want to use it in the modern day well if you do WeNet is a thing that you would want to check out it's a website you can access by going to wenet.xyz I've got it bookmarked here in the Wii browser's favorites and when you go to it uh, well in this case we're gonna get this lovely error message Th this comes up every so often just using the uh, browser and then it lets us know we have a working network connection thank you here it is when you load the site you get to this landing page with this nice marquee going across it is currently in soft launch this is still actively in development so not everything is feature complete yet uh, but you know they do have a discord server where they're providing updates uh, if you want to go check that out but yeah you've got this bar here games videos media utilities others and credits you've got the time down here and we'll just start out with games so we click here and it brings us to a list of games that you can actually play through the Wii's browser which is pretty cool on its own and yeah this is not going to like give you the ability to magically browse modern websites on the Wii this is nothing like that this is just a landing page that has a collection of things that you can do with the Wii's internet channel and you got four types of games USB keyboard games made for Wii PC games and JavaScript games so we'll just jump into made for Wii because they actually have a ski simulator which is pretty much like a you know first person ski free from what I can tell so you use the Wii remote to move around there's sound as you uh, go through the little checkpoints here uh, and I think you can jump yeah by hitting a also when you run into stuff there's this lovely sound that plays every single <laughs> every single time you run into something uh, so yeah, that can definitely get <laughs> that can definitely get old after a while. But uh, yeah, I'm not really doing a, a great job here. But yeah, it, it really when I started this up off camera, I was like, this is like ski free, just in you know first person instead of you know how ski free normally is. And I just noticed this. Look at the copyright date there, 2003. So yeah, this is definitely a much older game than I thought. Not as old as ski free, but. It's kind of lagging a little bit here for some reason. Let me, uh... It definitely takes some practice getting used to moving the Wii Remote around, uh, to, you know, move where you're going. But, uh, yeah. It's like a game. It's a ski, ski-free type first-person game in your web browser. Uh, there's also Duck Hunt on here. I hope Nintendo doesn't mind. Uh, this is a kind of remade, like, browser version of it. And you can use the Wii Remote. Uh, so let's just hit Game A here. And you see as I move the uh, Wii cursor around, it moves the little target around, or the, you know, crosshairs. Uh, so let's hit round one. Oh, I think it's just really lagging for some reason. <laughs> oh god, yeah, this is, this is way, this is way slower and laggier than it was when I was doing this off camera. That's rather interesting. Let's try to reload the page here. Yeah, the key word to this thing is patience. You're gonna be doing a lot of waiting around, you're gonna have to reload stuff. Why is it... Yeah, it's definitely having trouble keeping up here for some reason. I promise it was not doing this before when I was... <laughs> I think I'm gonna restart the channel here just for good measure, because it, it was not doing that before. Of course, everything has to break when I start recording. That's just how it goes. Okay, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Okay. This is how it's supposed to be. So we just need to restart the channel. Okay, now, see if I can... Okay. I think you only get two shots, or three shots? Yeah. So I completely lost that one. Ha ha ha, okay. There we go. Oh, come on, really? Really? Oh, come on. Come on! That was so close. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. This comes... 
Oh, at the worst possible time, too. Okay, anyways, that's Duck Hunt. And like I said, I hope that Nintendo doesn't mind, uh, but there you go. So you got a, a few other games in here. You've got Bubble Shooter, which is um, this one where you got to, like, throw these balls or shoot these bubbles, I guess, to, you know, break all the other ones. So you got to, like, match it with the colors here. So, like, go there, and we'll do this one, like, over here, do this one here. Yeah, you get the point of that. We're not going to go through, like, every individual game. I just want to kind of give you a gist of, uh, of what each of these categories are. So, PC games. This is really cool because these are just, like, Flash games. Uh, so, we've got things like, you know, Windows RG, even. Uh, which we took a look at actually back in early 2021 when I did that uh, Windows Flash parodies video. So yeah, we got Windows RG on here, <laughs> which is uh, which is rather funny. But okay, let's go to start here. Oh look at that! We can order food from Windows RG. <laughs> One of the many advanced Windows RGs, you ability to order food online, okay. I forget what this does. What does this actually do? Does it just, like, give you an error message? Prune juice, slice of, you know, a slice of ham sounds pretty good right now. It's, uh, sorry, the food you ordered is sold out. All right, how about some chickpeas? Nope. All right, how about some prune juice? Can we get some of that? Well, so much for that. I'll just uh, get pizza anyways later on. But yeah, you got all these other games. You even have, uh, which I've not seen this before, Me Maker Flash Edition. So... <laughs> Which is completely pointless to load up here on the Wii because, you know, there's the real me maker. Oh, and look at that, we're mo <laughs> So we're using the Wii, like, hand cursor to move around the fake Wii hand cursor. Um, and okay, so let's just kind of make a little me here. This is a little bit laggy. Oh, I think it's still loading here because that bar's not gone all the way across. Just UI-wise, it's definitely, uh, pretty close. I mean, as close as you can probably be to the, uh, t to the real thing. They got, well, it looks like... A lot of the same graphics and stuff. They might have just pulled this all from the Wii. This is probably the most basic me ever, but we're gonna go with it. And when you click on name, it will open up the you know the keyboard here. And I do have a USB keyboard plugged in, so we'll just call this uh, me super original name I know. And uh, we'll hit oh we can't hit enter to get out of that. We have to hit OK. And so there you go. You hit OK, and boom, it adds it down there. So yeah, that's the uh, the fake me maker so yeah you got a selection of flash games we have some javascript games as well uh, there's not as many in here but we've got uh, dungeon escape let's see what this is about oh gosh okay so we got like <laughs> this is like some windows 95 like screensaver vibes going on here but um i don't really know what <laughs> i don't really know what we're supposed to do here is it relying on motion controls i think i think it kind of is how do we move forward do we have to have the object selected and use the D-pad? No, that doesn't do anything. Oh yeah, okay, that's <laughs> that's Dungeon Escape. We got a Magic 8-Ball. Ask a question. Will this video go viral? Ask again later, okay. Will this video go viral? It is certain. All right, I'll take your word for it, Magic 8-Ball. Uh, DSI Mystery, The Last Hotel. Oh, we got some word art going on up there. Uh, warning contains mild language, okay. Start the game. Is this gonna be like a text like adventure game kind of thing crash oh does that mean that it just that the game crashed like or <laughs> or is that part of the game um i don't know i think it might <laughs> i think it might have uh oh after cracking open his eyes michael no might wait michael noticed the hallway light was turned on <laughs> I'm guessing that's just the name, because there's no way that, uh, I mean, I haven't entered my name into this at all. So I guess that's just the name of this character. That's, uh, that, that, that's quite the coincidence. Michael flipped the switch for the light next to him. The light bulbs on the ceiling flickered to life as if awakening from a deep slumber. Click. So yeah, stuff isn't loading entirely here. You see, like, we just got a, there's supposed to be like an image here, I'm guessing, but... Yeah, so, you know, it's it's there if you wanted to go through, and yes, it looks like that is actually a part of the, <laughs> like, that is a part of the thing. And yeah, USB keyboard, this is the final category. So you've got, well, games, you need to plug a USB keyboard into the Wii to play properly. And one of those is Super Mario Flash, which I find really funny. So if you didn't want to play regular Super Smash, Super Smash, if you didn't want to play regular Super Mario Brothers on the Wii, uh, well, you could load up this Flash version here. And I think we have to click on one player game and we'll select, you know what, we'll, we'll select Luigi. And okay. So we close, we have to use the Wii remote, I guess, close. And okay, arrow keys, yep, there we go. And space bar to start. Let's see what the controls are, okay. 
Uh, oh, lovely. <laughs> Oh, come on, let me, no, let me get up there. Oh, I gotta get up through here. Oh my gosh. Come on. No, what? Okay, thank you. Whew. Okay, the music stopped for a second. Oh, okay, well, the music just restarted. And I guess I... All right, so that's Super Smash Flash. What super? What am I saying? Super Smash? I'm thinking of like, because that I guess that's the first thing that comes to mind when it's like you think of Super Mario and Flash. You think of Super Smash Flash because of course. Uh, so Super Mario Flash that is in here along with uh, Ultimate Flash, Sonic, and a couple other games that I've never heard of. So those are the games, but we got some video action going on too. So there is a list of uh, creators and the latest uploads to Wii Net videos. Uh, so, you know, there's only one creator and one video at the moment, but if you scroll all the way down, there's this thing that says, finally, there's an experimental YouTube front end that may or may not work. I have not gotten this to work. Let me rephrase that. I've gotten it to load search results, but getting it to actually play videos uh, was a little bit of a challenge. So the YouTube logo should, when it finishes loading, should, uh, yep, there it is. It's coming in. And so you just search. So we'll type uh, MJD and hit OK. Now you have to choose an option from this list because if you leave it on sort by, it just won't actually load anything when you click on search. So we have to, uh, let's just do by uh, relevance and we'll hit search. And here's my Wii Pizza video. So we'll click on that. It all shows up in like an old style, you know, Google search uh, results page, uh, which makes sense because, you know, loading thumbnails and all that is not going to be pleasant on here. But yeah, getting the video to actually play, let's see if it will work because it does load a player here, and you've got your description and everything, which is kind of just a jumbled text mess because there's no like line breaks or anything. Uh, but let's see. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's loading anything here. Now there is a way to watch YouTube videos on the Wii. I did a video on that actually back uh, last year. That was on the uh, Wii Media Center homebrew application that got uh, an update. Oh wait, oh. Oh, okay. It's too <laughs> All right. Thanks for doing that. Uh, again, great timing, Internet Channel. Under media, right now you just got a single flash animation, but, you know, there's always the potential for them to add more stuff in here as well. But, uh, yeah, under utilities, you've got two things at the moment, paint shop and a flash calculator. So let's load a paint shop here. This is a flash. Uh, oh, four kids? Really? I didn't realize this was a four kids thing. Um, yeah, so you can, uh, you know, paint stuff like, woo. how do we change the color? Oh, there we go. There's our color palette. Okay. Uh, let's get maybe this one here. Let's uh, change our pencil or I guess let's get this. There we go. So yeah, we can make a nice masterpiece here. Of course, you can't really save anything that you do uh, on here, but uh, oh, I guess you can print it if you had a, uh, well, I don't think that's going to work on here, but if you were accessing this like on your computer, it sounds like you could print it out, which is, which is nice. So yeah, flash calculator, uh, two minus two equals zero. Yay. It works. So yeah, flash calculator and paint shop under others. This is, uh, one of the cooler things, at least to me, because you've got just kind of a selection of random stuff in here, some useful, some not so much, some that's just here, like the Windows XP Tour is here. Uh, not the like animated version, this is the uh, basic version, but uh, yeah, it's here, so we can cl click on Windows XP Basics. And um, yeah, it, it loads up, uh, you can go through and click on all these things and, you know, read about... <laughs> You can read about Windows XP icons. The small pictures on the desktop are called icons. Like, oh my gosh, man. Um, yeah, I just think this is an absolutely wonderful uh, inclusion to this list here. But you've got this, uh, in addition to the Jack Black soundboard, you have the uh, Internet Channel Advanced Features page, which is set up to display the uh, positioning coordinates of the Wii Remote as you move around. So if I stop moving here, you see it stops updating or it updates a lot slower. And I move around here and, you know, there you go. And I think this might have been like an internal page or something made by Nintendo because you got a Nintendo copyright, you know, thing down here and this like legal disclaimer that says all this stuff. So, yeah, 
but it says it was preserved and re-uploaded here by whoever did that. So yeah, there you go. But also if you scroll down, you've got links to other websites that would be useful if you're using the Wii's internet channel. So you've got RC24 Bookmarks, which is a Reconnect24 page. And this is pretty much the same concept as the last page, but it's just an even more expanded list of things you can do with the internet channel. Uh, you even have like Discross, which we explored in a recent video. You've got Flash Hacks. This is the exploit to load the HackMe installer through the internet channel that I've never been able to get to work on this Wii, but it is there if you want to try it. I'm sure other people have gotten it to work just fine. Oh, and you've got a link back to WiiNet as well. Look at that. Everything really does come full circle. But yeah, you've got some other stuff here too. One of the cool things is uh, the Reconnect24 Everybody Votes Results page, uh, which you can use because Reconnect24, which has revived the Everybody Votes channel, among other things, um, they, you know, have questions and stuff that still go out to the Everybody Votes channel that people can vote on. So these are all of the questions here. Um, so let's just maybe get uh, this question from May 1st. Which flavor do you prefer, vanilla or chocolate? We can view the results here and it'll give us a breakdown here. We can choose uh, a specific country. We'll just go with all and we scroll down here and the overall total votes looks like more people prefer chocolate uh, by a couple more percentage points there. 52 points. Uh, what is this, 6 to 47.4. Of course, the sample size of that poll is people who use the Everybody Votes channel with Reconnect24, uh, but still, there you go. I mean, it, it's really cool. I mean, it's just the problem is with the internet channel itself. I mean, at least with me, I've been experiencing the, you know, that like error message coming up every so often, and the channel just gets to a point where it just lags and you got to restart it. But overall, this is still a really cool project. It's awesome to see uh, people trying to get use out of this old browser in the modern day. So yeah, if you have a Wii lying around with the internet channel still on it, definitely uh, be sure to check it out. So that's going to wrap it up for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed this one. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up, get subscribed, all that good stuff. And as always, I want to thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.